running from the control room to the outside like a kid, holding his head and looking up at the sky in happiness. Those are the lovely reactions of Elon Musk, one of the richest billionaires in the world and also the owner of the world's largest rocket manufacturing company. Do you remember what caused Elon to act like that? Yeah, that was Falcon Heavy when it first launched on February 6, 2018. Not only us, but even the Falcon Heavy's owner was surprised at what it could do. After five years and several more launches, Falcon Heavy never disappointed us. It can be said that each mission blows our mind, even the most demanding persons. So how can Falcon Heavy do that? Stay tuned as we dive into that and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. If we look at the list of vehicles that SpaceX created, we can consider Falcon Heavy as the younger brother of Falcon 1 and Falcon 9 because it was manufactured after these vehicles. Funnily, this younger brother looks larger and stronger than its older brothers. Based on the structures of Falcon 9, the special thing that Falcon Heavy has is its two side boosters next to the core booster to increase thrust. With the addition of these two boosters, the Falcon Heavy's first stage has 27 Merlin engines. Thanks to that, the power of the first stage increased three times, helping the vehicle fly higher, farther, and be able to carry larger payloads than previous Falcon versions. It can carry payloads of up to 63.8 tons to low Earth orbit, 26.7 tons to GTO, and 16.8 to Mars. The mass of Falcon Heavy has increased two and a half times compared to Falcon 9, reaching 1,420 tons. Those are the basic changes of Falcon Heavy compared to the previous vehicle. So what's it done after those upgrades? Well, no matter how many flights take place, the first flight's still the biggest and most impressive one. Since the space shuttle, one of the symbols of U.S. aerospace, retired back in 2011, perhaps no other vehicle could attract public attention like before. But that changed on June 2, 2018, as the Falcon Heavy flight attracted hundreds of thousands of people to crowd the beach near NASA's Kennedy Space Center to directly witness its launch. And that's really impressive, considering it was created by a private aerospace company. Before the flight, even Elon wasn't sure about its success. He only assessed the probability of success as about 50% because he was worried it would cause an explosion on the launch pad like Falcon 9 in September 2016. But everything exceeded expectations. The Falcon Heavy launched perfectly. The separation process was very smooth. The second stage hit orbit and then opened the fairing to release the Tesla Roadster with the Starman robot in the cockpit into space. One of the most impressive scenes in aerospace history. Besides that, its two side boosters vertically dual landed on the landing pad. That first flight set many records. First, the Falcon Heavy with two boosters generated more than 5 million pounds of thrust when takeoff, helping it become the second most powerful rocket at the time after NASA's SLS with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. After separating from the core booster, the second stage continued to fly carrying Musk's car and robot into space. Here, Falcon Heavy created another record becoming the vehicle with the fastest flying speed at 40,140 kilometers an hour, surpassing the record of Apollo 16 when it carried the rover to the moon. Although the thrust is lower than the SLS, that's not important. With its great thrust, SLS only had one launch in the Artemis mission last year. Most remaining time it stood on launch pads or laid in NASA factories. As for Falcon Heavy, after the first launch above, it was chosen by many agencies for their missions such as ArabSat, the US DOD, and Space Force. To date, Falcon Heavy's launched more than six missions, with the most recent happening July 26th of this year. During that mission, Falcon Heavy launched the Jupiter-3 satellite for EchoStar Corporation. It helped Falcon Heavy set a new record. Falcon Heavy became the vehicle that could launch the heaviest commercial satellite in history with a mass of 10.1 tons. In short, although it's not the largest or most powerful vehicle, Falcon Heavy's shown us that every parameter is only truly meaningful when it's proven many times in practice. The launch process was extremely impressive, but how about the landing? It can be said that Falcon Heavy helped SpaceX open a new era for landing technology. Yeah, the technology I want to talk about here is vertical dual landing. To date, vertical landing is one of the most difficult techniques in the aerospace industry. Many companies have tried to do this method, but they can't succeed. Instead, they still have to land in many other less risky ways such as landing by parachute or just dropping into the ocean. And SpaceX has doubled the difficulty of that task. The scene of two side boosters landing vertically on the landing pad was truly impressive. Perhaps before witnessing that miracle, we would have thought that such scenes could only happen in sci-fi movies, but that's not the truth. 
It's incredible that not only did the rocket get up there, but then he landed those two pieces right back on the ground, upright, right on the circle. How on earth do you do that? It was spectacular. This was the reaction of a man who directly watched the Falcon Heavy launch that day. That statement probably represents not only his feelings, but also those of everyone who saw it happen. More surprisingly, SpaceX also wants to dual land two boosters on the drone ship. Although this has not been done with the Falcon 9 still landing the booster stably in this way, this method may be applied to land the Falcon Heavy's booster soon. If SpaceX can do this, it'll help Falcon Heavy continue to increase its potential in the future. Thanks to its unbelievable capabilities and achievements in previous missions, Falcon Heavy will be able to undertake many future important missions. According to the schedule, Falcon Heavy's next mission will probably happen October 5th. This will be Falcon Heavy's eighth mission and the third this year. It'll launch 2.6 tons of Psyche spacecraft and several other instruments into the Earth's heliocentric orbit. The mission of this spacecraft will be to characterize the geology, shape, elemental composition, magnetic field, and mass distribution of asteroid Psyche belongs to the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. This will be an important mission as the asteroid is believed to be a unique metallic planet. It'll also play an important role in studying the history of the Earth's formation. Being selected for such an important mission has once again proven Falcon Heavy's reliability. With its current potential, Falcon Heavy is completely capable of participating in NASA's most important mission, the Artemis program, which helps human return to the moon after more than 50 years. Although the missions designated SLS, New Glenn, and HLS Starship as the main vehicles, let's wait and see. SLS has always shown stagnation and expense in development. New Glenn remains delayed until at least next year and has never been launched into orbit. Meanwhile, NASA's planned deadlines are approaching. If those vehicles are still so slow, perhaps NASA should consider choosing Falcon Heavy to partake in those missions. Well, that's a future problem that depends on NASA. Let's focus on the present. SpaceX will need to do well on the upcoming important mission with Falcon Heavy. Although they've succeeded many times in the past, SpaceX needs to be very focused. It'll create the basis for Falcon Heavy to have a bigger role in the future. As for us, if anyone feels frustrated because we have to wait for SLS so long and feels disappointed when we have to wait for government agencies to approve the next Starship flight, or feels bored with Falcon 9's frequent launches, perhaps Falcon Heavy will be a good choice. What Falcon Heavy can do will definitely not disappoint you. Falcon Heavy's next mission is approaching. Prepare your food, drinks, and get psyched up to check out the new feat from this monster. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.